Hey everyone, so Ichiban Kuji has been teasing the new Hololife gacha for a little while now, and now we finally got the full details. So, this is the Ichiban Kuji Hololife 4th version, or 4th volume. It's basically another gacha. There has been three previous ones, and the only difference is just they feature different characters. So the new the characters here have not been the gacha pool from the previous three volumes. So yeah, I just want to give a an overview and the details of the prizes available for the gacha. So right here, I just pulled up the official website for the Ichiban Kuji, and this is the Hollow Life Fourth Version page. And as we can see down here. The start date of the gacha is January 12, 2024, and some stores could have a one to two day delay from when they start. So if it starts on the 12th, some stores may delay it to 13th or 14th, depending on like their condition. Maybe like the delivery of the gacha things didn't arrive on time, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And each poll would cost you 790 yen which is tax uh, included, like the tax is already included. So compared to the gacha that I introduced last time, which is Lawson exclusive, this time it's actually quite diverse, like the places you could find them. Uh, you can find them in stores such as in Japan. So in, in stores such as 7-Eleven, Lawson, Animate, and some generic bookshops, as well as game centers. You could also there's also a system where like um they sell it online at this on this website somewhere but i'm pretty sure they don't ship abroad so if anyone knows how like if they ship outside japan or not just feel free to leave it down in the comments and from my experience the in-store ones in like places that, that are popular such as in shinjuku or akihabara these will usually sh sell out within the first day, but like less populated spots would probably like take about like three to seven days to completely sell out. So it's not like a rush to get everything, but of course, like if you want to play it safe, I would just go on the first day and try to get it out. So here we got the prices of the gacha. We got the big visual artboard. Chokonoko figures, which is the Chokonoko is just the line name of the figures. We got mini artboard as well as a chibi acrylic stand. And this here is the last prize, which is just given out to whoever pulls the final item from the gacha pool. And this is basically to help the remaining, like let's say like all the good prizes, the top prizes got pulled, and there's only like the D tier price and you know it's only D tier you don't have a chance to get A tier prices so by putting the last price in it's basically like whoever pulls everything like the last price you can also get this for free and I've seen like people just like let's say like there's like 15 items remaining and they really want this they just take the all 15 polls pay for all 15 and then they just get everything so yeah, that's basically what the last price is. And the last price is a, a art book for all the visual posters here. And yeah, I'll go into a little more detail of, of each of the prices. So yeah. The prices are not technically listed under like, I guess like ranks. So it's not like the best price. This These are A tier and these are B, C, D. It's basically, I think they're pretty even. I guess like these are like the best prizes as the amount they have is like probably like one or two each character but these are pretty interchangeable in my opinion just depends on what you want so first off we got the I guess like the visual artboard and the selling point of this is just like they say it's like printed in seven colors compared to like usual four I think so I guess like just higher quality printing and first we got the Roboco price. The board itself, so let me zoom out a little bit. The board itself, the outside edge itself is a B3 size and the poster inside is A3. So it's actually quite big. 
if you have a use like a luggage, it will it will fit in there, but it probably won't fit in your backpack. I pulled one before from the previous volumes, and I had to hand carry it because it wouldn't fit in my backpack. And yeah. Also, for each of the price, the I guess like the art, the artist is different. So here we got Faru Farumaro san. Sensei, I guess. I don't know any of these artists. I've heard of some of them, but I don't really follow them. But here is his Twitter, his or her Twitter. I'll link everything down in the description of all the artists that worked on the art. This is his Robocall art. Next, we got Aki. It's basically the details are the same. And the artist is Nardak. Next up, we got Matsuri, and the artist is, I have no idea how to read this, but it's this person. I guess this is Kito Koruta, so here's his Twitter. He did the, I guess like the whole life, Daiwundokai. Which is the, I guess, like sports festival a couple months ago where Miko, Subaru, and Mio hosted it. I guess that's his, his art. Next up, we got Subaru. And the artist is Shio Kazunoko. Here's his Twitter. Apparently, he's done some TV animation work next up we got Mio which is done by U35 I think it's read as it's read as a uh, Umiko yeah this is her Twitter I'm sorry I don't know the gender of these illustrators so I'm just saying his or her depending on what the name <laughs> sounds like here we got Toa and the artist is Miwabe Sakura here's his his or her Twitter they're all pretty big artists like with a, a lot of followers Next we got Runa, and it is done by, I don't know how to read this, I guess it's, it's named Wasabi, I guess, yeah, the handle in name is Wasabi then. Next up we got Nene, which is done by Nemuri Nemu. Here's his Twitter. He's an illustrator for Tonari no Seki no Onna no Ko series. I've never heard of it, but I'm guessing it's like a light novel. And we got Laplace. The artist is Ay Ayase Rin. smaller than usual I guess like she drew a lot of uh, art 18 art so it won't show until you change the settings here's her Laplace and lastly we got Rui which is done by Taki here's his Twitter and I just want to note that I don't know most of these artists so I searched them up on Twitter and basically just found the one that says illustrator in their description with decent amount of following so I assume it's them some of them did promote like retweet the Chiban Kuji tweet but most of them didn't so the ones that didn't I'm not sure if it's the correct one but it should be correct 
And yeah, I'll go into the Chokonoko figure next. I just want to add that of the 10 illustrations, the Laplace art is probably my favorite. Uh, she's not one of my Oshis, but I just think like the coloring, the shading, and like the composition of the pose with the background just fits really well together. And yeah, I just wanted to give the artist a, an extra shout out. Next up, we got the Chokonoko figures, and they are random, so you don't get to choose them when you pull the Chokonoko prize. They come in like a seal box where you can't see through, so it's all luck. If, if there's like someone you want to pull, it's all luck. And they are about a little bit bigger than a quarter of your palm. It says 4.5 centimeters here. I personally own a couple of them, and I think they're like super adorable. And I plan to collect the ones for my Oshi. So I just want to add that when you pull these, these are not duds. They actually have more value than the original price unless you pull like really unpopular members so maybe they'll have the same value as the original pull but usually more popular members could probably go for like double the original price so yeah these figures do have value and they're pretty good pulls if you manage to pull them so next up we got the mini artboard and these are just the smaller version of the the visual artboard from the price from before and the size it says it's 12 centimeters but it's about like a hand size like if you look at your hand it's about like that size the quality of the thing is it's kind of like a cleric stand it's like plastic and the bottom is just plastic and they come separately so when you want to put them together you just take the the panel and you just slide it into the middle hole and you could get it to stand up like a little display. I have never pulled these before but I bought one as like a set from a second hand seller and they're okay I don't think they're the best prizes because eventually like you don't really have space to display all of them if you have limited space but if you have like an Oshi or something, I think it's nice to just like buy one or two, get one or two of them, and then just, yeah, put around as small displays. These are probably one of the misses of the gacha. But regardless, they're, they got nice art, so some people may think it's worth it. So lastly, we got these chibi acrylic stand. And it also comes with like their little name, name tag, stand on it. This price is new comparing to the previous uh, volumes of the gacha. Like for example, this is available in volume 3 as well. And these are available for all 4 volumes, I think. But these are new, so I'm not sure what the value of these will be. But I assume they will be decent. Pretty much like, I guess like the base price probably I would assume it's probably more valuable than the mini artboard and for me I would I'm looking to probably just grab ones with my Oshi and probably just call it a day with that and I'll quickly also go over the last price which is the the one you you get from pulling the final thing in the lot it's just like an A4 size art book which is just which just covers all 10 of these illustration and they split into one book and that's basically it and yeah with that all being said for the prizes if there's a specific price you aim for like I said previous in my previous video I would just look to buy it from a second hand shop for us in Japan it's probably like Mercari or like Sometimes they sell it on like Yahoo auctions because like, yeah, the chance of you pulling that specific item is just like the time costs wise, I guess not really time, but like the cost efficiency wise, it's just better to just straight up buy something that's like a little bit more pricey. It's not that going to be that pricey, but it'll cost a little bit more, but you guarantee yourself to get that. Yeah, but 
if you like pulling these gacha, I I'm not here to stop you. They're pretty fun. I've I've done them myself as well. It's just like, you know, once I pulled, I don't get my the ones that my oshis, with my oshis, then I end up like looking at the secondhand market and try to buy one again, which just cost me more money. Hey, yeah, uh, of all the prizes, I'll probably look to get the ones from Oshis. These acrylic stands. Maybe, maybe the artboard. I'm not sure. I'm on the fence about that. I'll probably grab the Chokonoko for my Oshis as well, as well as the posters. I've already got a couple of posters from previous ones, and I'm just holding on to them. Yeah, that's basically it for all the prizes. There is also a double chance campaign, but I think it's only f really for people who live in Japan. It's basically like the receipt of your gacha. You could scan the QR code and apply for uh, like a, a draw for another chance to win the art book. And there are 50 available for the whole campaign. So chances of you getting it's probably not a lot, but it's there. But I assume like you need like a Japanese address to to apply for the campaign because they would probably send you send you the item after you won it or it, like yeah thank you for watching until this point i'll leave all the links that i've used like the website as well as the illustrate illustrators twitter in the description below so if you're interested please check them out if you happen to be in Japan at the time of the gacha, I hope this helps you understand what the prizes are as well as like how the gacha works. And they usually do this a lot, like a couple times a year. I think this is the second time this year, so there should be more coming, I guess like until they run out of members, right? And yeah, I hope you have fun pulling and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.